Thank you for tuning in to Watch Six Though. My name's Six Though. Today is a Movado review that was lent in to me by Timekeeper Watch. And this is my first time holding the Movado, <clears throat> excuse me, a Movado Museum. It's actually a pretty stunning little watch. Been around for a hot minute, and the best part this is an automatic. It doesn't have a runny second hand, but it hacks. Eh, it has hacking features, and you can hand wind. This movement is a 2892-A2 automatic, 21 joules, 42-hour power reserve, a frequency of 4 hertz, which you can barely even see. Let's see. Get the rotor out of the way. It took me a minute to figure out what was the numbers because, obviously, let me zoom in and hopefully the rotor gets out of the way. And when you look in, there it is. 289282 ETA. Which, as you can see, the balance wheel is not going. Let's see. There we go. Now we got power. And let's get you zoomed out. You can see me in this dial, obviously, because it's a black dial. You can see all the reflection that's up there. Oh, my camera just moved. But anywho, on with the program. And I forgot to do the measurements for this little fella. So let's see the k thickness off i got 37.4 then with the the crown 39 38.9 lug width this is on a stainless steel if i remember correctly 43 thickness is probably under 12 7.6 and bandwidth is what 18 pretty much an 18 bill so off to the side so I got my diamond selector to double check to see if there's sapphire on this guy Which there is. And on the wrist, I'm wearing the Delma uh, Shell Shell Star Titanium. Let's see if it has sapphire. Yes, it does, which is nice. So obviously, Movado is rich with history. Uh, they had somebody create. I forgot the name, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen those videos. So I'll bore you the the quick history of the creation of this watch because really long story short, it was stolen from from the original design and Movado used it ever since. Let's see, there I am. It's crazy. Obviously Movado is equipped with always doing um, always creating this watch it's one of those tried and true watch design that they always keep pushing out it's honestly a pretty decent watch uh, I'm always used to seeing them in courts but this is pretty cool um, actually holding one with, um, with an automatic and especially with the expedition case back you can see everything. It's a what do you call it? A press, a press uh, case back. You, like I said, manually one. Let's see if we could hear it. Nope, barely can hear it. 
And if you have a hard time telling the time, this black dial will not do you justice because if you don't, if you need the, the uh, minute markers on the dial, then you are in trouble. But, but if you're okay with it, a uh, perfectly go-to dress watch. I'm not gonna fully cinch it in because it's not my watch. This is a, a watch that he has for sale. But here it is, seven and three quarter inch wrist. The Movado. Obviously you can see in front of the dial and it says Swiss made. The museum. It honestly it's a pretty cool watch. It's a uh, Actually, I had thought about owning a museum. If anything, I'd probably go for the automatic version because it's completely different. The downside, there's no no runny second because obviously they thought it wasn't necessary. But that's what Movado does. They do what they do. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, are, are Movado on your on your radar have they ever been or are they just strictly a uh, fashion brand until the next one you guys are awesome let me know in the comments below take it easy